Welcome to another episode of Conversations with 2023 graduates. I am Jayati Deshmukh, a PhD research scholar at IIIT Bangalore. And today we have with us Janvi, who is a final year IIM Tech student. And uh, she'll be sharing her experience at IIITB. So Janvi, how has been these last five years at IIITB so far? Yeah, so to summarize, it has been a very explorative in a way for me. Because I got to, like I uh, came to a very new environment. Mm -hmm. So I... And got to meet some very uh, amazing new people and made friends and I got to explore my interest area. Mm -hmm. So it was a kind of an explorative journey for me. True, true, right. I think you must have taken so many courses, right, over the years. What have been some of your favorites? Uh? Yeah, so for me, I was, uh, when we got to, uh, like when we had the chance to uh, choose our electives, uh, we had the opportunity to choose the interdisciplinary domains as well. So I want to list out few courses which I enjoyed a lot. So the uh, like the most of my most favorite course was Web in the Mind. Okay. So it was about uh, understanding. Uh, it was a uh, understanding the impact of web web on like on the like how it cognitively impact people. Mm. And uh, the other few courses which were on the inter interdisciplinary sides were cyberspace globalization and okay. lo location and that course also focused on the very niche uh, points such as why is uh, silicon valley the it hub of the uh, it hub of the world so uh, with the uh, with the development of ict we have such notions that uh, we have no distance like distance is dead mm and such notions but it kind of brings up other niche points which are like which are also the factors mm -hmm. and few other courses in that domain as well were technology and society and technology and development mm -hmm. and these courses provided uh, a holistic perspective of what we are looking at mm -hmm. not just uh, developing technology but understanding the designing and the implications of what we are doing so yeah that was my Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I think like you rightly pointed out, uh, both the uh, aspects are equally important, right? So that must have been a good mix of courses. Yeah. yeah. So next, uh, I have heard that you are a huge reading buff and you love reading. You have a huge collection of books. Yeah. Uh, could you share with us some of your favorite books? Yeah, and I wanted to like also, I love reading and I kind of like try reading different genres as well. But mm -hmm. uh, some of my reading habits and reading sources came also from the courses I took. And that was a very like uh, new direction for me. And a uh, few books which I found very interesting were, the first was how to do nothing, how to resist the attention economy. So that was again inspired from what I mentioned regarding the web in the mind course. Mm -hmm. The other books were how to be perfect, like the correct answer to every moral question. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, like the nature of courses I took and also inspired the books I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds interesting. I would also love to check out some of those books you suggested. <laughs> So uh, next, uh, I think you must have also done, uh, worked on different projects and so on. So yeah. probably you could share with us uh, uh, details of some of the research projects you worked on and so on. Yeah, so uh, few of them are like, uh, the one project I wor worked on was building a visualization dashboard. So in, like it was part of a course and it also provided us the freedom to choose our own interest on what we want to build. So the dashboard which I built was on the, analyzing the gender-based crimes in India. Mm -hmm. So during that process, like not just on the building part, but also on understanding what are the factors, how are the statistics being recorded mm -hmm. and what affects the trend of the statistics. Like it has various other factors which were important for social science domain as well. So mm -hmm. it kind of like again combined two domains and provided a holistic perspective to project. The other projects were computational ethics where we tried to understand how does the responsible behavior emerge in uh, agents and we looked at various ethical school of paradigms and compare like how their nature differs and hmm. uh, due to that how the overall outcome differs. Hmm. So yeah these were very interesting things. Right. It's and really again, expensive. I think a uh, very diverse set of courses, so it must have been a great learning experience, yeah. right? Working on them, right, right. 
Okay, so moving ahead, uh, what are some of the things you like to do apart from studies? Yeah, so as I mentioned that I like reading. So yeah, I was also interested in discussing uh, ideas with other people. So that's how like uh, coordinating with professors and my peers, like uh, we tried to form a group where a philosophy club group where we can meet weekly or bi-weekly and discuss our thoughts or uh, deciding on a topic and discuss our thoughts. So apart from and studies like uh, due to we have a freedom of student driven clubs and stuff so we had that freedom to again coordinate and organize that mm. and other than that i have also gained experience from being part like volunteering in other conferences or other events which keep happening mm. so we get, through that we get to meet different domain people and that also can be a step to explore your hmm. like create a diverse right right so yeah uh, quite a holistic uh, experience here i guess then yeah. <laughs> so uh, how has been uh, in general campus life for you like uh, five years like that's a long time so how have been things on campus at triple itv yeah so like coming from just staying in home for 18 years mm-hmm. it was a new uh, environment for me but yeah, again it was very friendly and one of the perks of being a small campus is that you can know everyone so the staff even professors even your peers so all of them are all used there for you so it also felt like a big family right. and also the campus itself has a garden pond and it's a very uh, peaceful area so i also got to find several reading spots oh cool <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, so it feels like a home away from home yeah. is it yeah. that's good to know <laughs> okay so uh, i guess uh, we have another new batch of students who will be joining soon so any advice you would like to give them yeah so from my experiences i got ki if i like i got to explore diverse domains and uh, find my interests so i would try to tell them that attend as many things or diverse things you can so that you can able to like also from what you do most of the time we can also find other things or hmm. pave your path because this is the time we get agency or to do stuff so i would i encourage them to utilize it to understand thing yeah definitely that's a very good advice here <laughs> Okay so thanks a lot Janvi we had a great time uh, talking with you and uh, all the best in all your future endeavors thank you at least